well. It's not often that I come across tags that I think are really unique and spark my interest. So I saw the box, not the boxed wine tag, the wine book tag. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will link the original video down below. I have my, this is not wine. <laughs> I don't know what wine would be this color, but it's 9.50 a.m. and I have class soon. So no wine for me. So this tag goes through 10 different types of wine. I'll link the questions down below and then you have to compare a book to the notes and experiences of drinking that wine. Number one is one of my favorites and that is a boxed wine, a book that people will judge you for liking but you like it anyway. So for this I would have to say Endless Love by Scott Spencer and that's not because I'm embarrassed by this book because I think the writing or the plot is bad. I'm embarrassed to recommend it to people and say that I enjoy it only because of that terrible movie that came out a couple of years ago. I have a full review of this and if I have a review of the videos I'm talking about I will link that in the eye that pops up here. Although the movie was sort of your stereotypical teen, not a rom-com, but just melodramatic and awful. This is much more so a tale of obsession. Some aspects of it are even a little bit revolting, I would even say, but the writing is wonderful and it's such a unique take on a relationship that I've never read before. The writing was incredibly unique. I just, if you don't normally like romances but you want to read something that's very psychological and gonna make you a little bit uncomfortable, I highly recommend this one. Number two is Organic Wine, a book that doesn't have any crap in it and is just written perfectly. So for this I would definitely have to say one of my favorite books of all time and that is The Stranger by Albert Camus. I read this two or three times and every sentence in this is crafted with such purpose. I can't really say what this is about without giving away something that happens about halfway through the book, but let's just say it's about a very odd man and him going through his day-to-day -day life. It's concise and perfect, and I haven't read any other books by Albert Camus, so if you have anything else you'd recommend by him. So number three is my favorite alcohol of all time. I don't have it enough just because it's specifically more so for winter, and that is Glühwein. And this is a really spicy, wintry read. If you don't know what Glühwein is, it's essentially mold wine. My family is very German, so we have it all the time once winter comes around. But if we're going for a spicy, wintry read, I'm going to recommend kind of a cheesy romance, which I don't read a lot of, but this one was just fluff and fun, and that is on Dublin Street. This is an incredibly popular book. Book, but I've never heard it mentioned in booktube before. But it's essentially about an American woman who's, I think it's like her entire family dies. She's left with the inheritance and she decides to move to Ireland and then she meets a man. I, I definitely would not recommend this if you don't like reading romance in books, but if you hate reading romance novels because in general the writing's just deplorable, I would recommend checking this one out because the writing is not too bad. All the characters are really likable. The, the female's very strong, which a lot of times in romance novels is not the case. Number four is Sauvignon Blanc. I might have pronounced that wrong, but this is a really sharp and aggressive read that you couldn't put down. For this, I would definitely have to say The Dinner. I read this maybe five, six months ago, and I was absolutely blown away. This takes place, I think, oh, it's been a while since I read it, I think in Amsterdam, and two brothers, one who is running for election, he's a politician. Both of their sons have done something quite bad, so they're attempting to have this dinner to discuss it very diplomatically, and this is a very biting, powerful, quick read. I think it was only around 300 pages or, or so, but incredibly powerful, and you won't see the ending or what happens coming from a mile away. Number five is Pinot Noir. If any of you watch Kim The Incredible Kimmy Schmidt, I just can't. <laughs> That's all I can think of. So this is a book you didn't expect much from but ended up getting blown away. For this I would have to say Stolen by Lucy Christopher. Not because I think it's one of my favorite books of all time but only because I was expecting it to be sort of a Twilight type read. This is a young adult, not romance, but it's a young adult novel where a girl is kidnapped by, an, I wouldn't say, oh, well, I guess an older man. I think he's 25 or so and she's taken to Australia. But I really thought this was gonna be a Twilight type read where they want you to fall in love with the male but I ended up really liking it. It was it was much more realistic than I thought it would be and I enjoyed the female protagonist much more than I thought I would. I was worried that it would quickly, well I won't say what happens, but I'll just say what you expect to happen doesn't um, and I really enjoyed that. I keep hearing that there's a sequel coming out for it but then I never hear anything else about that so if anybody knows please let me know. 
Number seven is Rosé, one of the few wines I'm actually not a big fan of, but anyway, a book that has a little bit of everything in it. So for this, I'm not going to recommend a book, but I will recommend a graphic novel series, and that is the Lock and Key series by Joe Hill. I am so happy I've finally gotten around to reading this. I was listening to it on Audible when they had it for free, but then I deleted my app, reopened it, signed in, and all of my books are gone. Granted, that was the only one in there and it was free, but still, I'm annoyed. Do they go away if you delete the app when they were free? I don't think that's fair, but anyway. But now I checked them out and I've been actually reading them, which I'm liking which I'm liking a lot more anyway. I'm sure you all know what this is about because it's so popular in booktube, but I think this has horror, it has adventure, it has romance, it has comedy. I think the only thing I would say is if you're really uncomfortable with violence because it is quite graphic, I would say maybe stay away from this, but if you're fine with that, I think it'd be really difficult for the average person not to like this because it has so many different elements to it. Number eight is Shiraz and that is a full bodied book that is dark and juicy. So for this one the first that popped into my head was You. I have a full review on this as well. This is a psychological thriller told from the POV of a stalker and you wouldn't expect this to be juicy and funny but it really is and I, I know the sequel has come out and I can't wait to check that out. Let me know if you've read it and what you think about it because on the one hand it is quite dark and disturbing and menacing but then the male protagonist is just so funny and his, his takes on pop culture and just say current trends regarding say hipsters and kale shakes it's hilarious and then that makes you uncomfortable because you find him so funny but yet he's this awful person so I would definitely recommend checking that out. Number nine is a Merlot, a smooth easy read with a soft finish. For this I would go with Roses by G.R. Mannering. She is a fellow booktuber Rose Mannering. This is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast and it's slow but descriptive and beautiful. It's not, if you're interested in one of those popular YA fairy tale retellings that's super fast paced and everything like that, I wouldn't recommend this, but this is just genuinely a beautiful book. The writing is stunning. I, just, I kept reading it and just being impressed with every single sentence and it's such a unique take on Beauty and the Beast. So I would highly recommend checking that out and I will go ahead and link down to where you can buy this book on Amazon or somewhere. This is not obviously an affiliate link. She doesn't know I was going to even talk about this book but it was an amazing book and I want to support a fellow booktuber. And finally number 10 is Champagne, your favorite book. For this, this is difficult but my favorite book of the moment would probably have to be The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. This takes place in a maximum security prison. It's told from the point of view of someone on death row and some people who who work at the prison. It's impacted me more than I'd say 99% of other books that I've read and easily became a favorite. Jenny from Adultus Books was recommending it for the longest time and I finally checked it out and it did not let me down whatsoever. It, was, it went far, far beyond my expectations. Just beautiful, incredibly, incredibly sad. I'm not normally the type to say read it with a box of tissues, but I would say that for this one. So that was the wine book tag. I'm gonna go ahead and tag, I just mentioned her, Jenny from Adultish Books. Who else? Well, both girls of Get Bookish and what is his channel? I'm blanking on what it's called. I never could remember. Oh, and Just a Dust Jacket. I know a few of them don't normally do tags, but I just really want to see them do this. So again, I will have the original creator of this linked down below and any, and any spoiler-free reviews I've done of any of the books I've mentioned. I hope you guys liked this, and I'll see you soon. Bye.